Hi everybody, it's Lynn from Lynn's Crafts Designs. I've got, got this domino mold. I'm literally just going to pour about halfway full of clear resin. I don't really figure y'all need to see me do that. Um, but this mold right here on these two corners is, it came this way. It's a little flared up on the corners and when you pour resin the resin is not heavy enough to hold it down so um my husband and i talked about it a little bit and um i'm thinking i can put just a um a ruler across the top that will just set on these raised edges <clears throat> and then put a weight of some sort of a paint or whatever just to hold that down until it sets and then I'll be back okay here they are now the reason why I didn't want to like I could have used double-sided tape on the back or some nano tape on the back and stuck it down to something that would be uh, that would be sturdy so that it wouldn't have the turned up corners the reason why I didn't want to do that is because I still wanted it to be flexible when I go to demold it so that was the reason that was the reason for all of the uh having to work it out but it did work the rulers didn't stick I can see a little bit of the amine blush right there now supposedly it will come off with alcohol okay all right but what I'm wanting to do is just to put a little drop or two of UV resin Ugh. I would say don't let your UV resin lid get this gross but <laughs> it just happens um, I want to put a little drop of UV resin I'll spread it out with my nail brush and then I'm gonna literally just a few of these bones in each one all right then I'll cure that then I'm gonna mix up uh, what was it 80 milliliters of resin and I'm gonna put I know again these are the no-name glitters but they're just pretty This one is a purple opalescent, I don't even know how to describe it other than that, with a really pretty mermaidy kind of flash to it. And then this one, which is a, I would describe it as a midnight glitter but it is a really dark a really dark purple I mean blackish purple okay that's what I'm gonna put so let's get started now I'm only gonna do a couple of these um, uh, to show you and then I'm gonna do the rest of them so I Okay, these bones have so much static.
the challenge is actually getting them in there and not on you. Because trust me, they go everywhere. Gosh, that was actually pretty good. Only got one static clean to me wherever it just went. Okay. Now, I'll just move these around a bit. Now, some of them won't be in the UV resin and all. I, I get it. It's just so that the darker resin won't go under all of them. Shot with the UV light. I <laughs> I'm just gonna keep going on and fill up all of these. Okay, I've got the uh, 80 milliliters. This is the Illumilite black resin dye. It, it's literally like a resin paste. In other words, it is... Okay, it's like the crafting cast. Casting. It's like the casting craft. I've never used that, but... Oh, literally. One, one little drop. Something I have been experimenting with, I mean, testing. When you stir your resin, I keep my stick I don't know how to describe it, but anyway, so that it's not going flat against the sides. I think that creates more air bubbles I'll, I'll do it around the cup I'll even spin the cup and do it from the other direction but as you can see I don't I don't turn the stick it's really hard to describe So black. Okay. A little spoon here. Okay, this is the purple opalescent. Um, it's not really a chunky. It's more of a a, a shape. It's hexagons. Two and a half of those. Now this is that, I'm just going to call it Midnight Sparkle because that's what I'd name it. It is like a black, purple, I don't know, gorgeousness. Just for good measure, I'm going to do three. <laughs> Now, once again. Oh, 
It's almost like I'm drawing on the bottom of the cup. That would be how I'd describe it. Drawing on the bottom of the cup. <laughs> uh, oh. That is pretty. Okay. Okay, now here it is. All boned up and ready. Alright, I'm going to do this the way I filled up with the clear. And it could get messy. And then I changed my mind. Hold my breath. <laughs> Okay, and I'm just going to keep filling them just like that. Uh, until I run out of resin. <laughs> Hopefully I made up enough. It should be just enough to do the rest of these. Okay. Now when I set the ruler on the second time, it did... Um, I will have to sand that off. Alright. <clears throat> Here's why I didn't want to stick this down. Because then it's not flexible enough to break apart. Gosh, I'm so nervous. Here we go. Bones didn't stay as white, but that sparkle, those turned out really pretty. And most of that overpour is going to be off the domino. And this mold is a Timu mold. <clears throat> now, the corners do turn up a bit. But from what I have heard over and over again, no matter where you get these from, Amazon, Wish, wherever, that is a problem. <clears throat> I've heard of people returning their molds over and over again to try to get one that that doesn't do this. But it's it's a pretty much hit or miss. So it really doesn't matter where you order it from. It's just what you, it's just what you're gonna get. You have to decide whether whether it's worth it or not. And that is just so slight. Alright. I 
I really feel like you're not getting a good a good shot of them. My sleeves might be distracting. <laughs> now, of course, after I put the pips on and all that, I'll just use um, an alcohol, um, alcohol, an oil paint marker. <laughs> I don't know what color yet. Okay, I'm just going to go and clean these up a bit. <clears throat> With just an emery board. Okay, I decided on purple. <laughs> Freshly prime the pen. Sorry, these are the oil paint pens I got from Timu. <sighs> okay, just turn them in the light so you can see where they are. Any um, any over overages <laughs> uh, will wipe right off with a baby wipe alcohol ink, whatever. Uh, when we're done, so I'm just gonna keep on with all of these. Whoop. Now see, every one will get a little bit of overage. So, no matter how careful you are, I mean, you can use one of those, uh, you can use one of these with the needle tip and do it that way. But the point of the exercise is not to fill up the little indentations it's just to color them if you look at a set of dominoes those little indentations are not filled in they're just colors so i'm just gonna keep going on and i'll be back when they're done okay uh, Thinking they turned out really cute. Let me see if I can hold them still up. Really cute. Now, they'll still need to be wiped off and everything. They still got a little lint on them. Really turned out cute. I'm loving that. Um glitter in the background is so pretty now they'll still need a little bit of work on the back i'll need to dome them up one more time they're so cute let me see now this one's still drying as you can see the colors are not are not uh even, sorry. There's one where you can see a little bit of the top of it a little bit better. Okay. Now, remember this is a Timu mold. Although, it doesn't matter where it's from. You're going to get the same product pretty much either way as in literally you're gonna get the same product Timu just sells the same stuff 
everyone else does. They don't sell cheaper mold. I mean, you know, they sell they sell less expensive, but not cheaper quality. The quality is the same wherever you buy it from. Amazon, Wish, whatever. They're buying them at the same place. So, don't think just because you're buying from Timu you're going to get less quality. Because it's just not so. You'll get less quality if you buy less quality molds. Plain and simple. You're going to you're going to pick up a determined eye the more you shop, okay? You'll you'll begin to figure out which molds are good molds, which molds are not. Molds have a life. Okay? Just like silicone cups do. And I'm going to show you right what I'm talking about. These are new silicone cups. Even though they got resin in the bottom of <laughs> The new silicone cups. This is an old silicone cup. You can tell the difference. Silicone starts to yellow. It starts to get more brittle. It gets to where the resin sticks to it. Okay? But if you spray mold release after every time you use it, before you put it away, that will extend the life a little bit. Okay? But, keep in mind, they do have a life. So, if you're going to get into resin, keep that in mind. You will have to replace your favorite molds that you wind up using a lot. My suggestion would be, just like with the crystal candle holder. This also came from Timu. I ordered two... I ordered the first one and then right away ordered another one because I knew I'd be pouring a lot of these. So, I should have ordered two of the domino sets. I admit it because if I had enough resin, I would pour these every day. Um, I read on a post on Facebook that somebody donates them to fire departments and police stations. I thought that was a brilliant idea. My daddy was a fireman and I know at any of the fire stations he worked at they would have been glad to have somebody donate a set of dominoes. All firemen have downtime. What better way to fill your time other than cooking which they do a lot of but playing dominoes now it's said that you know if you're playing competition dominoes you're more likely to memorize the pattern on the back so that you could pick out <laughs> but this is just a basic set of dominoes okay I wouldn't I wouldn't worry at all about that because they look pretty similar one to the other okay well they will once I don't them a little bit on the back <laughs> all right mold from Timu everything else I've got an Amazon shop list um, where the glitters, the mica powders, the alcohol inks, the resin dyes, even the resin. Um, silicone, if you're interested in doing silicone. Polymer clay. Um, just the basic. Super Sculpey. It's on the resin list. Because lots of... Of resin companies sell it that's why because it does go hand in hand with resin 
when you're using it raw, unbaked, has all kinds of applications. As you saw, I filled up the little stem on a leaf mold with just unbaked clay to block the resin. Worked fine. Um, you can make molds, uh, you know, yeah. You can make a mold housing, mold shape using polymer clay. Uh, it, it, it's got lots of uses. Besides, like I've been doing, making the uh, little polymer clay blanks and then making molds. Okay.